Hello, my dear friends. This is a video about press fit bottom bracket. Here I'm going to give a quick summary of this type of bottom bracket and as usual we'll give you some market analysis and give some recommendations. So press fit. Uh, in just a few words it's a non-threaded type of fitting where there is a like a pipe inside of your bicycle frame inside of which you insert in one way in one way or another the bearings normally the way it's done is by this this is a standard way so what it is is just a piece of plastic This plastic goes into the bicycle frame, fits in there, and then inside of this plastic cup you fit the bearings. Then there's a seal that goes on top normally. Often they are interconnected by some kind of a plastic sleeve or pipe as well. This isn't done to add rigidity to the construction or anything like that, doesn't add any stiffness. This is just to prevent debris and dust and water of coming into the bearings and into the bottom bracket. Now, um, most likely your bicycle will be fitted with something like that from the factory. It is uh, working, I suppose, although from engineering perspective I don't think it's a very good solution. It creaks often. The only thing that prevents it from creaking is the softness of the plastic. It is just a soft cup where the bearings goes. Um, so basically the movement causes the creaking of the bearing or of the crankshaft uh, but despite the movement there could be no creaking still just because the plastic is so soft and you cannot hear it but um, in my case for example I did hear some creaking and plus the bearings were worn so I uh, didn't know what options I had, I just knew that the bearings are worn because when I took out the cranks and felt the bearings I could see uh, and feel that there was some roughness inside. So normally when it happens it's too late to try and open the seals of the bearings and try to repack them with grease. It's, it is a solution, but most of the times it doesn't work. It's not a proper solution. You should replace the bearings in such a case. Um, I took the bearings out using a press. Uh, had a look at them. Yeah, they were still working, but were worn. They've done some case. So I thought, okay, I'll replace the bearings. I got some branded bearings by a well-respected brand. There's a couple of names like NSK, NKN and some others, SKF bearings. So I got one of these. Wonderful. They're very smooth and nice. Done to an industrial standards. All good. But how do I actually replace the bearings, okay? I've got the bearings out. I've got the cups inside of the frame. Uh, unfortunately, because these are just soft plastic cups, what happens when you take the bearings out, out is they move a little bit. Uh, and they get damaged as well by pressing the bearings out. Yeah, soft plastic, what can you do about it? It's just the way it is. 
such a material. So, as I found out later, um, those standard uh, things are not designed so that you take out the bearings and replace them into the plastic cups. Normally what you do with them is you take the whole bottom bracket out and you just throw it away when it's served its course. Uh, now what options do I have? I could have just bought another set of the standard plastic bearings but I thought it's not ideal, it's not mm, from engineering perspective not such a nice and elegant solution you know um, so what option what other options did I have uh, I've done some market research and there's a lot of constructions where there's two aluminium cups which have the thread and so those two aluminium cups are threaded inside of each other which then connects them together and um, it inserts that metal aluminium pipe inside of the place where a bottom bracket should be. Inside of that pipe, as usual, you will have some bearings. But this time, because it's an aluminium construction rather than plastic, it's more stiff you can actually take out the bearings and replace them it will not damage the sleeve that much and um, in my opinion it's just a better design overall replaceable bearings stiffer uh, it's less likely to move if it's done properly so it means less creaking and probably more stiffness so it's a better solution all around. Mm. On the market, the cheapest options that we have are some AliExpress options. There's a number of brands, or there can be just no-name brand there. Uh, and I thought, you know, it's such a simple construction. All it is is just a metal pipe. One goes into another. It's done to a size, it's done to a length. So what could go wrong there? I'll get one of these, I'll give it a go, I'll have a look. So I bought uh, one of these. Um, it did fit, no problems. Uh, it was just sitting right in the frame, no problems there. But there was a big problem with um, seals, surprisingly. So obviously the bearings were crap, I was expecting that, so the bearings were just terrible, terrible quality. But I thought it's not such a big problem because then I can just get industrial bearings and replace the original ones with this. <coughs> but the thing is that the way it's designed is the bearings are usually depressed a little bit inside of the pipe and on top there go seals, aluminium and rubber seals, which are not part of the bearings, they are extra additional external seals, which are the part of the bottom bracket. Um, so these come with the bottom bracket. And the, the seals that were with that bottom bracket from China were just terrible, they were atrocious. They were just pieces of plastic, hard, uh, thin plastic, like, um, yeah, well, you get the picture. I don't know, like a, like a um, cap on top of a jar, some cheap, you know, nothing plastic, crooked, and uh, no rubber there. So they don't serve as seals. I've done one ride with this and the water just comes in freely sand comes in freely with water as well so all of the bearings were full with sand and it was just terrible 
terrible, terrible. I thought, okay, I still have those seals, which are fine. They're not bad seals, which came with the original standard uh, bottom bracket. So I'll just get these, replace the crappy seals with the normal ones and problem solved. But the problem is that mm, the spot where the seals go is different on the on each bottom bracket. So I couldn't just reuse the seals that I had with the original bottom bracket which came with the bicycle because they just don't fit. They don't stay in place. So I discarded the bottom bracket which is fine. I was expecting that. I just had to give it a go because the price is roughly I would say maybe $20 or something like that which is very cheap for a bottom bracket. So I had to give it a go and just see for myself how it is. Um, there are other branded options now which are wheels manufacturing uh, brand which is an American brand and then some others there's a number of them so those wheel manufacturing end up the higher end ones the prices start at around maybe 80 100 Australian dollars for the bottom bracket with bearings which isn't too bad but in terms of value there's a better option which I'm going to mention now which I ended up with and I'm very happy with the quality um, and it is Token Token Ninja it's the same thing aluminium sleeve bearings inside of it, some no-name bearings, but they're all right. I've done a couple of hundred Ks on them, they're still fine. The seals this time in Token Ninja are proper seals. Thick aluminium rubber seals inside. They're good, proper industrial seals on top of the <coughs> seals which are, of course, in the bearings. So, great. Um, the thing is covered in plastic as well to prevent creaking and to allow for manufacturing tolerances. So you might get a um, spot where you fit the bottom bracket which is a little bit bigger or a little bit smaller. So Token Ninja is covered with um, plastic which contracts and expands a little bit. So there's some flexibility there in terms of manufacturing tolerances. Or if the hole is overlized, which happens a lot, then it's going to help with that. Plus, if the bottom bracket does move, the plastic softens the creek. So there's less sound there, which is good as well. <clears throat> it's a good practical solution. I would say I don't have problems with it. The bearings are replaceable because they're inside aluminium sleeve. Um, there's two options there. So a standard option for standard hole, which isn't too bad, or if the hole is worn, for example, or maybe the manufacturer did a terrible mistake and it's way too big, then they have a bigger option bottom bracket. So bear that in mind. You can actually order two sizes bottom brackets from Token Ninja. And the price is... Um, Roughly, let's say very rough estimate is about maybe seventy dollars or something like that Australian, which is maybe even less than that, which is great value for what you're getting. It's a fantastic value. <clears throat> the way I install these is, and manufacturing recommendation is surprisingly not to use a bearing retaining compound because if you think of it. Uh, bearing retaining compound should work ideally on the bottom bracket. It's a round thing that goes into the round opening. It's not supposed to move. So bearing retaining compound like Loctite 680 or something should work ideally there. But the manufacturer says no, you're not supposed to use that. Um, 
I couldn't quite get from token why, <clears throat> but anyway, it's probably a question for another video. However, I did stick to manufacturer's recommendations, I just used um, Grease, which they recommend. And so far it's working good, no creaks, no movement as far as I can see, and the bearings are still running smooth. I'm not going to do a pre-rotation test because there's no point in it. I'll say just that the cranks are running smoothly. No problems there, and most importantly, they're weather sealed. So, a part of that, I don't think there's any other option which is a good value, at the same time, good, um, good quality to price ratio, basically, good value. Uh, Hope and such, even Willis manufacturing, are a bit overpriced. Standard options are cheap, but don't think it's such a good solution. Chinese, very cheap, replaceable bearings because it's an aluminium sleeve, wonderful. But the thing with those is that um, they're just not designed to a purpose. Not done properly, unfortunately. I cannot recommend these. So here you go, Token Ninja, yeah, good quality, good looking, no problems with it. Uh, when you do fit it in place, often they are supplied with um, uh, like a head, <coughs> which you can use to torque it up, but they are plastic. So bear that in mind, if you're lucky, it will probably last you one installation, after which it will be rounded up, very soft plastic. So you can buy a special tool, like I've done an aluminium head, uh, which is the size of the bottom bracket with the notches there <coughs> works fine works absolutely fine but most likely it's supplied with um, two plastic heads so if you're lucky you'll be able to install it at least once with these that's it for the bottom bracket <coughs>